Okay, guys, I'm here with Jeremy McDowell, and we'll talk about more of his book, Acing the CCNA Exam. And we're curious how he started Jeremy's IT Lab. All right, Jeremy, how did you really start Jeremy's IT Lab? Um, it's a YouTube channel. And then you also have the Udemy course. YouTube is not enough. Udemy is not enough. Let's follow it up with a book. So uh, as a Udemy instructor and as an IT YouTuber, uh, how did you thought about, hey, let's add a book. What inspired you or who inspired you? The idea of writing a published book. Okay. so. First, I'll get to that first part of how I started Jeremy's IT Lab, the YouTube channel. Um, so I was an English teacher in Japan. I, mean, I still live in Japan. And towards the end of my contract, I was thinking, okay, what am I going to do next? Like, I don't want to be an English teacher forever. I was looking for some options and I decided to get into IT. So I actually started studying for the CompTIA A plus cert. I never took yeah. the exam, but it was nice to get some, you know, entry level knowledge of different fields of IT. And then I found the CCNA, and I love that. I love networking. It was really interesting. And I got my CCNA, and I was still working as an English teacher. So I couldn't find an, I couldn't get an IT job yet. I was still under contract. I didn't want to break contract. Um, so I started studying for CCNP, routing and switching back then. Now it's called CCNP Enterprise, but mm -hmm. uh, before it was the routing and switching. So I studied for that. I got my CCNP routing and switching. And then when I finished, um, that cert, I just decided that, you know, until I actually get a job in IT, I can keep my skills, my knowledge fresh by teaching these, these skills to others. So that's why I decided to make a YouTube channel. Now, at the beginning, it was just um, CCNA Labs and Packet Tracer. So I made a complete series for the CCNA routing and switching. That's the old version of the CCNA, um, covering all the different topics, uh, static routing, RIP, EIGRP, OSPF, BGP. You know, there were a lot of different topics. I made labs for all of them. And then once I finished that series, it was just before the current version of the CCNA was going to come out. So I thought, you know, this seems like good timing. Let's try to make a complete CCNA course. And, you know, at that point, I had no idea how much work it would be. It took way longer than I thought. But that course became quite successful. Um, it took a couple of years to make because I was doing it part time. And then... I was contacted by David Bomble, who I'm sure most of you know. He's uh, quite famous here on uh, IT YouTube, um, to collaborate and release the course also on Udemy. So I did that, I think, about a year ago. It was about a year ago. I released the course on Udemy. Um, and in terms of video, that's basically the history. But as for why I decided to write a book in addition to that, well, the original cause was, I think last year, or it might be the end of uh, 2021, I was contact contacted by a publisher to write a book. So I thought about it for a bit, and I ended up saying, no, I don't have time. You know, I'm busy with work, uh, making videos, and writing a book seems like it'll take too much time. So at that time, I said no. Uh, but then I started sort of thinking about it, and I thought, you know, it would be nice to have, like, my own option in each of the different categories, like my video course, my book, my practice exams, you know, so just to give extra options to students who like my teaching style, if they like my video course, you know, you'll probably like my book or you're probably like my practice exams. So I started writing a book with the intention of self-publishing, just doing it on my own, put it on Amazon. Um, but I soon found out that writing a book is not so easy. Uh, it's very complicated. A lot goes into it, not just writing, but editing, uh, copy editing, making sure everything looks fine, making sure the formatting is okay, uh, getting the physical book printed. So I ended up reaching out to a couple of publishers and I decided to work together with Manning. And yeah, that's the story. So I'd say the original inspiration was that other publisher who contacted me to write a book. That sort of got my mind going, thinking about, hey, maybe it would be a good idea for me to write a book. And that's what got it started. Interesting. Now, I'm curious. Did you expect Jeremy IT Slab will fly? 
I like had no idea. No, 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 no. I think uh, most YouTubers at the beginning, we don't expect it to become our job. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, at the beginning, it was totally just a hobby. You know, I'd make a short Packet Tracer Lab video every week, upload it on YouTube. It didn't take too much time. So it was just a fun hobby. Um, I think I ended up getting a few hundred subscribers from that, which was nice. But I had no idea that it would uh, reach this level. And I think the timing was a big aspect because it was called the cert apocalypse, you know, when Cisco changed their cert certification system entirely in yeah, that uh, was 2020, 2020, I think. 2020, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. Just right so I after think, the peak of pandemic or yeah. during the peak of pandemic. Yeah. Right, right. So there was a lot of hype, a lot of excitement about um, these new Cisco certs. So I started my course right in the middle of that. So I think that timing is what really gave me the boost, mm. uh, make my channel really grow a lot. And it's still growing quite a bit to this day. So I'm really, uh, really happy about that. But no, I did not expect that at all at the beginning. All right. That, that's very interesting because there are many people who ex exactly like us that they want to, of course, share their knowledge, do some YouTube videos, but they are not successful. They're not getting um, enough reach, audience, etc. Mm. And uh, to be honest with you, uh, creating YouTube videos is really very cumbersome, very tedious, very tiring yeah. sometimes. It's a lot of yeah. work. It's a lot of work. It's a yeah. lot of work. Yeah. Yeah, it takes time, especially when you have a full-time job. You know, it's hard to really stick to a schedule and release videos every week or every two weeks or whatever. Um, it can be tough. And especially at the beginning, when you have very few subscribers, very few views, you know, it can be discouraging. But my advice to those people is just continue, just keep doing it. Like, if you believe that your videos are good, if you think that they can help people, people will notice eventually. You know, it might take time, you know, some people it's faster, some people it's slower. But if you just keep making them, commit to a regular schedule, um, you know, people will find the videos eventually and they will appreciate them. And who knows, you could be bigger than me someday. You could be the next network Chuck, who knows? All right. That's an inspiring message. Okay, guys, so. again, for those who are interested with a book, Acing the CCNA Exam, check the link below and use the voucher for more discounts.